Hello friends, Sir Fancy here, and first of all, let me show you what you can learn in this video. I will show you how to create a gun just like this one. Let me take it. You can see that it has much better grip than when you take a normal cube. And what's even more important, you can actually shoot with it. So you can try to hit something and destroy it. That's everything you can learn in this tutorial. If you are interested, keep watching. I have started simply with a VR project, which means that you need to launch your engine, create new game, and that game should be virtual reality. Then you are just creating a regular project. You are no amateur, so I believe that you know how to do it. And then I have imported simple 3D model of gun, which you can see right here, and implemented some textures for it. Really simple, everything as usually. So, after we have that, let's get to make it work in VR. So first of all, let's get to Virtual Reality BP Blueprints, and that is BP Pickup Cube. And that thing we need to duplicate. So let's duplicate it and rename it to can underscore BP. Okay, then take it and put it back to folder where, where you are going to work. In my case, it's this folder can, which is right in, uh, in content. So now I can open it, uh, go to viewport and look at this cube that doesn't look like gun at all. So you need to reset it to default and set it to our gun. And our gun is not named a gun, it's called police pistol. So let's add here police pistol. Uh, of course, if you want to use the same model as I do, you, I will give you a link in the description and there is a link for Sketchfab or something like that. Okay, now you can see it is in it, but the problem is that uh, it's a bit too small. Scale is set to 0 0.2, so let's reset it again and see how it looks now. Okay, compile it and let's test it in VR. One more thing, I almost forget, we actually need to put it in the game. So let's take that can and put it in the game. And let's put it on table. Okay, check it by simulating it if it is actually on the table. No, it is not. So let's move it a little bit more and make sure that it is on table. And you can see that physics and everything like that works just fine. So let's switch it back to VR preview and play it with your VR headset. Uh, just if you are interested, I am using Oculus Quest, but it will work with any VR headset you can have. Okay, now back in VR, let's try to take it and you can see that it's a bit small. It looks like a simple toy. So first thing we need to do is to make it much bigger. But we are not gonna just guess like kids. We will actually make sure that we have the right proportions. And for that, we will go to Virtual Reality BP, Blueprints, and there should be HM, AMD Locomotion Pawn. And that's not what we are going to open, my bad, sorry. We are going to open BP Motion Controller. I go to Viewport, and you will he see here a hand. Which is that hand that you can see and you control with your controllers. So let's click on it. And uh, make sure that you are clicking on that hand mesh and add here component. And that component will be mesh, static mesh as it set. And set it again to our gun. Okay, again, it's not a gun, it's pistol. Okay, and you can see that even though it is on one scale, it's a bit too sp uh, small. So let's try two. That seems like it would work, but uh, just to make sure that we, it actually fits in our hand when it is hot. So uh, let's uh, click on that grip, uh, click on that hand mesh and disable this anim use animation blueprint to use animation asset and that animation asset set to mannequin hand right grab, grip and then you can back click on your pistol and rotate it so it actually looks like it's on in his head I'm not saying that it is perfect but it's good enough so make sure that you know how it looks like and now what we will do is to compile it and then click on our uh, gun BP open it on second half of your screen here we go, gun BP, and I want it to have it uh, um, next to each other. So let's take that gun and put it on the other corner of screen. Come on, mate. Okay, and in viewport uh, of gun BP, let's make sure that scale of that mesh is set same as here. And right here, if you click on it, it is two. So let's set it to two. Once you actually take it with your hand, it will 
it will go exactly to that grip which we have set up so for that setting you can see right here uh, let's move it a little bit and you can see all this co uh, transformation and coordinations that it needs to be set to be in that hand so i will go in gun bp to event graph and you can see that uh, there is already set up event pickup so for that we will go to end of it and set it you can see it right here and set it to set rotation no i'm sorry let's set location and rotation set relative location and rotation i believe and set that location as uh, just as you have on your this on this set of coordination so with transform it's easy you just need can copy it and put it in it but with, rot with rotation i'm afraid that you will have to manually tape it in another important thing is that you need to set location rule and rotation rule to snap to target okay let's look at it compile and as our target we will set our static mesh component Okay, compile. I've taken it just from here. And now let's close it all. I have realized that I have actually made a mistake. Uh, you cannot uh, copy coordination which you have right here. You need to take that static mesh and make sure that it's not attached to that hand mesh, which means that uh, you need to click on that hand mesh and, make, and see that it's not attached to it. Now, if you uh, if you, you can uh, last click all this, I'm gonna call the, this all last click, which means that you cannot see it anymore. Anyway, you will see that the coordinations of that static mesh changed, and these coordinations you need to copy to your blueprint. So now you can see that I, I have done just that. And the uh, last thing I need to do is to delete it from our gun. So now I need to delete that gun. And make sure that our hand mesh is set back to animation blueprint. Compile and click on play. And now it should work just fine. And it seems like it works wonderfully for me. You can see that if I take it with either of our hands, it fits exactly to that uh, to that coordinations I have set. Which, as you can see right now, I haven't set up just correctly. You can play with it much better. But if you look from here, it looks pretty cool. <laughs> Okay, so now what we need to do is to make that gun shoot. And that should be really simple. For that, let's get back to our guns folder and create here new blueprint. And that blueprint will be actor. Actor will be called bullet. And open it. Okay. And make sure that you add here something that can actually shoot some mesh. So that our mesh will be simply sphere let's put it right here and make it a little bit smaller because now it's a huge so it's 0 0.2 and even now i believe it's quite too big if you put oh it's very big uh, it can work for just testing it out so now we will click on that sphere and add it um, simulate physics right here simulate physics and enable gravity Oh, that should be fine. And just click on simulate if everything works. You can see it works just fine. So next one is to set up input setting. Uh, for that, go to project setting. And da -da -da, somewhere here should be inputs. Da -da -da, input. And right here, you need to set a new one. I have added it here, but I will do it again for you. There is action mapping and you need to add plus one. I'm going to be calling it trigger. And if you and now uh, it really depends on what kind of VR controls I have. I have a Oculus, Oculus Touch because I'm using Oculus Quest, and for that I want to click on Oculus Touch and add here trigger. Oculus Touch trigger right, that's the one I need. Okay, if you use HTC Vive, you can just add it here. You can add here as many as you want, which is probably recommended if you are making a VR game for uh, different platforms. You can find here Vive, Trigger and put it right here. Okay, save it all. So let's set it so our bullet appears when we press the trigger button. For that we will go to our gun BP and go back to viewport and add here an arrow. Okay, component arrow 
and let's make sure that oh no we actually need to have it like this scale it down so it doesn't look that terrible and let's rotate it okay make sure that you have snapping on so you can and put it right in front of your gun okay that sounds good because that uh, will be position which we where will we spawn our blood okay and now we need to set up here function so let's go to function uh, new fu oh, okay let's not call it new function let's call it shooting and only thing we will do here is to spawn actor from class that class will be our blood compile it and set spawn transform which will be from our arrow and we will set world transform excuse me okay we will just set world location no i'm sorry we are not setting it here. we need to get world location my bad uh, click on spawn transform split structure pin and connect it right here Okay, compile and what we will do now is to set that you can do it with your trigger and for that we will need to go back to virtual reality BP blueprints and blueprint motion controller okay look at it just here and no that's actually not where we are sorry we need to go to motion controller pawn because that's where your camera is and all the setup that is so let's look at it if you want i wouldn't recommend it <laughs> and click right here and put here trigger which is that new action event we have created and when the trigger will be pressed we want to cast no we actually are not going to cast we are going to get actor of a class that class will be our gun or gun bb Compile it and from there we want to call that function which we have created which is called shooting Okay, compile it and it should work just fine when you press uh, trigger which we have set up in input methods It will cast to our actor and execute shooting Okay, let's test it out. Okay, let's take it and see if it works Just press it and it works wonderfully see Every time I press this trigger button, hopefully you see it, it creates a, it creates a bullet, which is just wonderful. Okay, now we need to make it so that it actually shoots at anything, which means we need to give it forward vector, and that should be really simple. We need just to go back to our gun, Do -do, new gun, and vector bullet. And when event begin play, which means when it will be uh, created, then we will actually again get actor of class, set it to our gun, and from there we will take that arrow which we have created. I believe it was still called arrow. Hopefully, I haven't renamed it. Yes, it is called arrow. We'll take arrow get arrow and from there we will get its forward vector and we will add something to it because if it will take us uh, if you just take forward vector it means it will take just where that arrow is headed where it is looking at which is exactly what we want but then we need to add it some momentum some speed so we will cut it at times to float uh, oh, actually, let's use integer. I just like them better, and I believe it's a little bit less expensive. Uh, integer, and start with 500. That should do the job. And from our get actor of class, let's put this spin and take add impulse to our sphere. And that's f and now you can just connect it at impulse compile it and see if it works okay play well it is doing something and you can see that it is actually moving forward but it's really little so let's add some numbers to it and if you just don't know what you are doing the best thing you can do is to add here zero this will be probably a bit too much but let's see take it and you can see that it is actually shooting much better okay let's teleport a little bit back 
Okay, and I can shoot at those things. And hopefully it will even interact with them, yes, seems like it does. Okay, that's everything for me now. Hopefully you can make a wonderful uh, FPS shooting whatever game you want, just it is in VR, you know. And that's about it for me. Uh, if you like this tutorial, uh, like and subscribe, all this stuff would be very much appreciated. But firstly, something about me, I'm Sir Francy, I'm making videos on this YouTube every day, mostly about game dev vlogs, how I'm making my games, sometimes tutorials just as these. And if you are interested in that, subscribe, hopefully you will get something out of it. So yeah, Francy, Sir Francy out.